Hey everyone, Wes here. A student of mine had a question about references versus actually copying, specifically in regards to an array that looked like this. We have an array of cards, and then we have a shoe, which is basically like a copy of the cards array, which you take cards from. And what was happening is as you take a card out of the shoe, he was finding that the uh, the cards array also would, would be depleted. So I'm just going to demonstrate what it means to have a reference versus an actual copy. So uh, right now I've got this cards array and I've assigned shoe to cards. So if I console.log shoe and I also console log cards and on page load, we should see we both get, we get two arrays that are exactly the same. Now, let's say we wanted to do something to this shoe array here. Uh, for example, let's say we just want to take one off the front so or off the end. So it's a shoe.pop or whatever method you're using to uh, to take one off of that array and give that a save now. And if we look at shoe, you'll now see that seven is gone. But now if I look at cards, you also see that seven is gone. Similarly, if I were to say shoe of zero uh, equals Wes is cool. Now shoe is the first one is obviously Wes is cool, just like we did. But if I go see what cards are, that also is Wes is cool. And that's because we did not take a copy of the array right here. We simply just referenced it. So shoe is not its own array. It's just pointing towards this original cards array. So how do we actually take a copy? There's a really nice uh, stack overflow thread that goes over all of the possible types that we have here. And it really boils down to what type of data do you have? So in this case, where if it's just strings or numbers, uh, things like that, you can use a couple ones like this. We could say, uh, shoe equals cards dot slice. And what that will do is you're just going to take uh, a copy of the entire array. Now, if I console log cards and shoe after we do something to it, let me, let's do shoe of zero equals I changed. Now, hopefully cards will be the, the original and shoe will be our new one. There we go. Ace, King, Joker, seven. I am change, King, Joker, right? So we took one off with pop and we reassigned the first one uh, with change. So that is good. Another way you could do it is uh, you could take a blank array and call concat on it and just pass it cards. That's going to take the blank array and concatenate in the new one. So give that a save. You still get the same, the same way. Uh, there's a couple other ones right here. There's some really nice uh, libraries like $.extend and jQuery, or we have extend and clone deep. Um, it depends if, if you have an array of objects, sometimes you might need this, although you, you might want to ask yourself, do I need a, an entire copy of the entire thing? Um, or you can use json.stringify. Uh, finally, we have a new one in ES6 that's called the spread. And what we could do, say var shoe equals make a new array, and we spread all the items from cards onto it. What does that do? It's going to take every item from the cards array and apply it into this brand new array. That's what a spread does. It takes each item from something and puts it into uh, the new container. So that's another way to take a copy of the actual array. See, exact same thing. So again, to summarize, if you want to take a copy of an array and modify one, but keep the existing one in, intact, you need to take a copy of it and make sure that it's not just a reference.